everybody. Welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. I am hanging out with the piglets right now. This is Waddles for those of you who have not met her. She is a lover and she is going to be the one that we're going to keep around for quite some time on the ranch. The piglets are getting huge. They are growing like crazy and they are absolutely loving their new pen. So while Christian and Haley were here this last weekend, we took advantage of them and had them help us out with a few things that needed to be done to expand the piglet pen. The first thing that needed to be done was the electric wiring. We had wired it the week prior, but we had not been able to get the wire hot. So Christian, who is like an expert at all things, came and helped um, Gabe get it all set up and we got it going. And so the piglets have been trained on the hot wire fence. And while they were doing that, Chuck was working on getting the roofing finished for their shelter so that they have full protection from when it rains. And as you can see, they love it in here. They were just outside. I was giving them some water, which they were going nuts for. Hold on. Waddles is the first one out. <laughs> hey, Curly. <laughs> there you go, Bertha. <laughs> it's a happy day. Waddles is getting love from Christian and Haley. <laughs> oh, jeez, Waddles, are you kidding me? Are you a pet? Yep. Wow. <laughs> this is one happy piggy. This piggy knows where it's at. <laughs> Give me lovings. Oh, yeah. Are you in heaven? <laughs> yes, his eyes are rolling back in his head. I could tell. That's a happy snort. He likes it. I know. You get in the ear. Give an ear kiss. Whoa! Yeah, a little bit too close for comfort there, Capone. So, friends, I have bad news. Bertha is Bert. <laughs> I made a mistake. Hey, Bert. No, I thought she was a female, but it's a male. Where is the pen? Oh, there it is. 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 Oh, this is jelly. Yeah. Right, Brie? Yep, because he loves belly rubs, but he hates to be touched anywhere else other than his Only belly. his belly, huh? Yeah, and belly rubs with jelly, so jelly belly. Jelly belly! I love how his ears kind of curve up. Yeah. Waddles and jelly together. are a couple. They yep. Together, so it's meant to be. Oh, look at the two of them. So Christian, what is operating capacity? How many volts? Uh, about 15,000. 15,000 volts. Oh, I think Capone just got a little shock -a -rooney. We actually have electricity coming to the wires now. Yeah, you guys will stay away from the edge now. Won't ya? Oh. That right 
there, my friends, is a very happy piggy. <laughs> Look at the smile on that face. The gentlemen are getting the latches on the gates. They have latches. So we're keeping the wire on top, folks. We appreciate your recommendations about burying it, but we're not going to be going through these gates super often. No, so. this is like once every couple of weeks you have to open it. Yeah. And we don't want them root. One of the issues is if we bury the wire right in front of the gate, we're afraid they're going to root, root it under. Up. Yeah. And I mean, you can bury it deep enough where it wouldn't be a problem, but this just isn't a big enough issue at the moment. Yep. We can always change our mind. Yep. You know? It was a very good idea for our uses. We'll keep it above the ground. Necessary. Yes. Get in there, baby. Get in there. <laughs> There's a happy pig. Yes, my girl, Waddles. Yes, my girl. Are you alive, Waddles? Ow, ow, ow. So the biggest job that we got completed this weekend was um, we got the electric wiring for the forest paddock completed so that the piglets now have a ton of room to explore. <laughs> Waddles, come here. She's very curious about my stand. Big Waddles, come here, baby. So anyways, to continue on, <laughs> we um, put in tea posts and step-in posts. And then Christian and Gabe put all the wiring along it. At the same time, Haley, Bree, and I were clearing the path for the wiring so that if there was any leaves or debris in the way, it would be moved out of the way so that the wiring would not touch it. And then Chuck did a lot of clearing of any trees or limbs that might fall into the wiring. We really wanna make sure that the wiring doesn't get um, impeded upon so that the hogs have a nice safety fence for them to stay in their safe paddock. Open the switch. Okay, Test it's on. the wire. Wire's hot. Oh, I think it is. <laughs> now it's just as far end. Okay, oh, we're gonna test it. I think we need for up here. Let's see what the voltage is. Okay, we're getting uh, one thousand and two volts, or one thousand two hundred. No, ten thousand two hundred. Ten thousand. That wow. makes more sense. Okay, we are going to let the pigs out into their new paddock. 
Come here, piggies. Bri, why don't you hurt them out? There we go. The first ones are free. Oh yeah. Start living large, piggies. There we go. Be free. Go forth and forage. Is that Waddles? Waddles is one of the last to go. They want to hang by us. They're like, no, we're not going out in the wild. Come on, Waddles, go on out, baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Waddles, come on. There you go. Come here, girl. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That row. We're going nice and easy here. Just not to scare him away. Back you go. Good girl. Okay, Waddles, you're last. Good boy. Good boy. You're awesome. Yeah, because we got to get Waddles through. There we go. Good job, Capone. You did awesome. Good job, Capella. You guys did your job. He found his calling. Hey Bert, are you excited to be out? <laughs> Love it! The escapees don't want to go out foraging. She's like, don't pick me up again. Sorry about that. I did not like that. Waddles! Hey, hey! Is she trying to eat your pants? Yeah, eat my shoes! Stop it! <laughs> So a little update on the chicks. They are still in the yurt with us, but um, once they get big enough, we will definitely put them into their new chicken coop, which we are working on. Um, it is all the, the storage stuff that we had in there has been moved to the upper loft that we created. And so now we can kind of wall it off and build the exterior enclosure so that they can be free and start eating bugs and grass and enjoying the outside beauty of their new home. We had a few other things happen this weekend, so be sure to stay tuned for another video on what exciting things are happening here on the ranch. Mm -hmm.